Well, hello there, YouTube. And <laughs> welcome to the 4th of January, 2020. I have this little tiny, and I do mean tiny little window of time to do this for two reasons. The rain's coming back that's been just absolutely pouring all day. And <laughs> sunset is at like 447. And it's... <laughs> I don't know what it is, 10 or something after 3, or I mean 4, what do we got here, 4.05, so uh, I'm going to just take a quick around the neighborhood loop, alright, let's roll, <laughs> yeah, it's only been about 20 minutes ago that the rain stopped, as you can see by the puddling water, and look at the non-puddling water out here, the guy did a really good job on the road. All right, let's do this thing. Let's get road wet. See the water going through that guy's property? That's crazy. I thought I'd just take a quick detour and go up and down the hill here right quick. So how, how far you can see down there with, uh, with all the trees thinned out. sunny there for just a little bit but I think the next front that's coming is uh is coming <laughs> when I first stepped outside and I go man should I go for a ride it was farther back so the sun was literally out that's what got my attention because there was no time that it wasn't going to be pouring down rain I've been looking all day uh, and last night, you know, after we did the goodbye vlog, it was probably, I don't know, 15 minutes later, I was going out there grabbing the trail cam, or actually I was putting the trail cam back. I uh, pulled the card off of it, just dumped it on my um, laptop right quick. Sure doesn't look as pretty coming down here this time of year, does it? But I still think it's cool. It's just that time of year. So I got into this thing, a tag gum video popped up. It was an interview with Ali Sheedy during the filming. Um, I mean, she was literally in character, well, dress wise and hair wise and everything, uh, during the filming of uh, The Breakfast Club. Again, the wonderful, magnificent John Hughes film. Man, that guy. Anyway, that started started me on a whole, like, uh, reaching back into a time capsule kind of a thing. And it's still, I have the hardest time in my head. You know, I realized things were a long time ago, but and I, I, I when I was a kid, I drove my parents nuts and stuff. I, they accused me of making stuff up, saying there's no way I can remember some of the things I remember. You know, but I, I, I have very, very vivid uh, memories, you know, throughout my, I remember, oh, I don't remember a lot, but I remember being two years old and moving into our second house, uh, not the house I was born in, but the, the second house in Georgetown, South Carolina. I remember pulling into the driveway and I remember what my parents were talking about. And they look at me like, like I just played a tape recording back to them or something. They're just going, you don't remember that. It's impossible you can remember that. But anyway, I vividly remember things. So I, that clarity of remembering events, I don't remember everything. Nobody does. I don't have no photographic memory or anything like that. But, uh, you know, parts of life, I've, when I remember them, I can smell it. I can... I can literally feel the feelings I was feeling. So in that, I remember things like uh, the the John Hughes days when he was really taken off with, you know, the Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Pretty in Pink, and uh, Sixteen Cat, all those all those things. You know, they were they were kids' movies. But man, I'm just right out of high school. That was very vivid to me, being that age you know 
and uh but anyway my point of talking about this little thing is i remember like ferris bueller's day off and the feelings what movie theater i went to see it at and stuff like that so i have a hard time in my head putting that distance distancing that time because to me it just seems like something that was like a year or two ago and then i get these like hot flashes of holy crap you know that's 35 years ago you know the breakfast club was 34 years ago from when it was oh no breakfast club wasn't that 84 yeah ferris bueller was 86 yeah man but anyway th those things seem so still current you know <laughs> you look in the mirror and stuff like that not so current you know you go whoa who is that staring back at me in the mirror that's not that's not the guy back in those days but anyway i have a a hard time you know uh putting that amount of time i don't look back and go Oh my god that was forever ago i gotta think about it for a second and go wait a minute you know i wasn't married had no kids i've gone through you know a whole lifetime since then practically and then that's when it i don't know you get that weird gut feeling like holy crap times does that not look like that's kind of slipping off the only thing that gives me some kind of sense of security is them two big stumps right there that's not gonna let that hill just go whoo it'll creak down there as you barely see most of the time you're not gonna see anyway so far away but um yeah so anyway i didn't mean to get on that whole rant about time and distance you know but um uh, you go through that flashback and you feel all the feelings you remember what you were thinking about and thinking of the future and you know, Kelly and I were, were dating at that time and talking about getting married and, you know, the future of having kids and what will the kids be like, where will we be living by then and all these things, you know, all that stuff just starts flooding through. And the John Hughes films, for me, have just, look at them things budding. There's no way those are budding already, but that's budding already. But uh, the way he, the way he did the films, and if you do any research into him, he was very, very, very unique among, um, you know, filmmakers, writers, directors, and uh, I don't know. And, and the music he put in was very important. And something about the music he uses in the movies from the very first time you watched them back in the '80s, they just bam, they hit you. They just hit you in this way that this the absolute perfect music for that moment and uh anyway those things just come flooding back so doing all kinds of stuff <laughs> doing research and stuff and uh i found this one thing in this guy uh two different people doing filming locations one was filming locations of john hughes films and then uh this last thing, little thing i watched here a couple hours ago was uh this guy that uh, did the filming locations for uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And uh, he like double screened it and stuff. It's really creepy to see, you know, things that aren't even there anymore. Like the breakfast club, the school that they were in. Um, that library that pretty much the entire movie is made in that library. Um, in reality, that was a fake library built in one of the two gymnasiums at the, uh, at that school. And, uh, it's not that that school doesn't exist anymore. It's now the, uh, uh, state patrol, um, headquarters for, I think, Chicago or whatever. It's where you go. It's like the main headquarters. Like if you win the lottery, it's where you go in to turn your ticket in and stuff like that. So the building's still there, but it's now a, a, a state patrol. But yeah, weird. Just been doing this crazy memory lane thing off and on all day, all day, and I kind of get away from it a little bit, and I, it's thinking in the back of my head, and I'll turn around, and I'll do s some more research on my iPad. You can, you can kill a day. I got a motor vlog I need to build, too. <laughs> I never got to. 
I'll get to it. I'll probably do that tonight if I don't run out of time. But um, yeah. Do you guys? Is there any like m movies and directors or whatever? I mean, if you really think about those movies, they're kind of silly, but really they're much deeper. They're much, much deeper. Do some research on one of his movies. Just do the research on The Breakfast Club and watch some of the, the old interviews and stuff that were done. Um, that movie was deep. John Hughes was very deep. He uh, kind of got frustrated with the whole movie thing because, you know, he was, as movies were so popular, I think he got a lot of heat from more established directors and and stuff. I don't know the whole story there, but it, at one point, I, I think it was in the 90s or whatever, he just said, that's it, I'm out. Bought a bunch of land and uh, out in the country outside of Chicago and was running <laughs> running a farm, literally. And uh, he was in New York for something back in 09 when uh, he uh, suddenly, without notice, had a heart attack and, and died. Man. Hmm. 09. It's crazy. Over 10 years ago now. I don't remember. I want to say it was like at the deer walking across the road right there. You guys see that? He's right by the stop sign. Man, see how dark they are this time of year? That's why they're so dangerous when you're out driving. There's another one coming across the street. It's about to go under the stop sign. Oh, that one spotted me. He goes, whoa, that's not supposed to be standing there. But anyway, I talked about John Hughes here not too long ago. <laughs> Got a little rant about that then too, but things like that historical things and things that uh, make that provoke me to pull up old memories and you remember them and you're just like my mind can literally relive these moments and that just puts the best the best feeling in me but I can't think about it too much because then I start to think of how many years has gone by and and you know that me is not me anymore you know it is but you know life was so different you know it was the 80s and you were starting out you know it's crazy love that stuff so i mean you guys are that way that movies and stuff can just flash you back in in the time with just the most incredibly fond memories anyway it was crazy, crazy windy last night. And then again this morning, and that little breeze that's coming across right now just reminded me that the the wind stopped three or four hours ago. I'm like, never got a clear spot or a clear enough spot to ride. Um, while it was nice and windy, I love riding around in the wind. Kind of a bummer, the uh, clouds and the mountains over there. The sunset, she is gone. Oh, faithful beamer. You're my uh, my all-weather rider. And it's such a nice feeling that I don't have to stop and look at it and go, Oh, no. Look at the mess I got to clean. Holy moly, there's a car. <laughs> That's such a peaceful spot right there. Now, I know it's not me. I know it's not me. That thing has a noticeable deeper dip to it. Come on, Barn, don't fall down on me. Why would that change so quick? It hadn't been that long since I was out here. Of course, the super view is going to skew that. But the hole you can see from the back looking forward, it's dipping back. And then there's a distinct dip in the middle up front. You used to be able to read what was on that sign. I don't even remember what it was. I had to go way back to try to discover that one. <laughs> Look how clear that is after that rain. Man, you can see 100 miles out there. Wow, it's just 
perfect out here. 42. I think that's what it said at the house before I left. Well, that was a fun little little loop around the neighborhood. It was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. I hope I didn't bore you with my subjects at hand there. It's what's on my mind. <laughs> Today, I knew I was going to take a loop around the uh, little valley out there because uh, the limited amount of time anywhere else takes me a bit to get there and then it takes that same amount of bit to get back. So, can't go too far. So, this is a quick thing. I don't know, man. That's some beautiful skies going on right now. But you can sure see that the next storm coming in, coming up right behind it. All right, well, I reckon I'll take my happy butt back home. And uh, Kelly and I do a quick little goodbye and we'll call it a day. Thanks for coming along for a little spontaneous ride and a little gap of clear weather. All right, we'll talk at you later now. Well, well, hello there, YouTube. That gummit. Now that I come back, I'm not using a camera that has wind socks on it, the wind starts kicking back up again. Of course. Isn't that always the way? Something like that. Always. I love it when it's windy when I ride, and it was just a little breezy up there on the that lookout up there, taking that whatever that road is that goes around the backside of the Cowlitz oh. Prairie out there. Oh, gotcha. But that was fun. I'm glad I got a spot this close to going back it and not going. Not enough time to make it. Glad I threw my gear on and ran out here. That's good. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Hey, if you guys know, this is the rubber, you know, the seam around your helmet. It rubs on there and it turned that thing black over the years. Nothing, I, I don't remember what I've tried, but it's been so long since I tried. You got any idea what takes that, that black out? It always looks like I got ring around the collar. It's a helmet dragging on a helmet collar is what it is. Or a, the yeah, collar. Must be the, yeah, the dyes and the... Yeah, whatever. And, uh, vinyl underneath the helmet. It's the rubber. The yeah. rubber oh, molding in. Yeah. It's probably, yeah, the black dyes in the rubber. But man, I, whatever I tried in the past just, I mean, doesn't phase it. And I'm afraid to use something too harsh and, and ruin. Uh, yeah, ruin the waterproofness of the jacket. <laughs> so I've just been leaving it on there all these years. But anyway, that was a lot of fun. Hope I didn't drive you crazy. I did a bunch of, I drove her crazy first and then I finished it off with you guys. Talk about you. <laughs> John Hughes films. Oh, Lord uh, have mercy, Hub. Yeah, like half the time she doesn't even hear what I'm saying. Unfortunately, I do, though. <laughs> That's the problem. Oh, man. That's fun, though. Brings back a bunch of old memories. We were, yeah, we were bringing all that up. That was cool, you know. The way we were. I know it, definitely. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for uh, listening to me uh, yammer on about some stuff and going along for a ride. Alrighty. You know, there, I'm gonna get her out of the wind because she's probably froze. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. So there's no chance of a ride today. I don't know how I got this one snuck in. Yeah, it's Hopefully it'll be in. better tomorrow. I'm jonesing to be standing next to a train when it goes by. I know. Hubby's going to yeah, a train withdrawals. train withdrawals. Took the BMW, was that last weekend? No trains. No, just red <laughs> over red. Yeah. So, hey, that was my first ride on a motorcycle for 2020. Oh. Not counting the work rides. That don't count. Oh. I yeah. don't think it does, but that's a ride ride. Yeah. Works just test ride. Yeah. The old, the old 2020 BMW got the honors. Very cool. All right. All right. See you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye.